alias of Money Rat. I'm a Chinese based graffiti artist. I've been doing graffiti for roughly four years. When I was a kid, I used to like skateboarding. I hurt my leg, so for a while I couldn't skate. But during that injury, I figured out what really got me into skating was the visuals under the boards. And that's when I started gaining an interest for illustrating, graffiti, also from hip hop as well. Um, my process is very derived from old school nostalgia. I really enjoyed like watching cartoons, Saturday cartoons when I was a kid. And also like looking at like the cereal boxes of that time, like Coco Pops and those guys had like really cool cereal boxes in like a really nice time. Uh, also like the cartoons I used to grow up watching had like a really cool illustrative style and also like the influences of like skateboard companies like DGK to name a few. I would say my brand is like a depiction of myself and things I can't say personally, I can use that to voice out. And, people expect a whole lot of funny stuff from me. and it's also like influenced by the township I grew up in Soweto. So most of the things I saw growing up, also the art I saw growing up, is really translated through that. So everything that inspires me as a person besides being an artist is translated through that. So the beginning of graffiti or the first form of graffiti one would learn after finding the name is the tag. So the tag is what you'd write your name in your certain style. And then after the tag comes the draw up. So the draw up is basically like a tag. You can do it quick, but this time you can do it bigger. You can do like many of them. And then after the draw up comes the burner. That's when uh, the artistic element comes in. That's when a lot of colors come in. That's when like the background comes in. And then after a banner, you get a piece. That's when it's like stylistic, very expressive. And then after a piece, it's a production. So when it's like a production, it's a full wall with characters, nice pieces, nice background. It can be appreciated by the general public to be also called street art, you know. For me, it's not even a billboard per se, you know, it's more of a canvas. It's more of a way to get myself out there. For example, when I was 22, no, no gallery thought of like having my works and stuff like that, but a wall was the easiest way for me to have like a hundred eyes gaze through my work. That's a gallery and all of these walls are my canvas. I think it's, it's not the greatest thing, but yeah. Yeah, you can't control it in the city. It's good to put art wherever it can be. In my opinion, quite ugly for the most part. You've got to paint over the graffiti. Very hard to tell from a graffiti artist tag or gang tag from, a, from the general public because to them it's pretty much the same thing. I think it's quite disgusting. It damages property. People who do graffiti have the most expression in them, and they express it in such an awesome way. Well, apart from it, making an entire area look crap. It looks really cool when done correctly, of course. Uh, like they've got no voice. I think that basically graffiti is just an excuse for artists to paint walls um, in a way that just makes the city dirty.
and it's often in abandoned derelict spots so it really makes it look grungy i think it is you know a bit of a scar on on a city center or a city itself it almost looks like gang related imagery which i don't fully understand I'll put it like this, a city without graffiti is like a city without pigeons and a city without pigeons is a city with no soul.